Hey folks, welcome to thesausage.com. I'm Ronnie Butler Jr. You know, when I was growing up, I spent so much time in front of the TV. I would come home from school, do my homework, and just get in front of the TV and watch it. And I remember, I remember laying there thinking, I want to be there. I want to be inside there with those people on TV. And so, I, so yeah, it was a dream of mine since I was a kid. And I'm lucky enough to, to have lived that dream, to be living it. When I'm not working, when is that? <laughs> I feel like I'm working all the time. Um, I'm a, I mean, I, you know, I, I love movies. I go to the movies a lot. Um, but um, I have a real love for photography. And in fact, you know, um, taking pictures is what sort of led me to, um, as opposed to only acting, to directing and making my own stuff because I started to see things visually. So I, I, I love photography. I spent a lot of time taking pictures. Um, I follow a lot of photographers, blogs. Uh, I'm on Instagram, snapping away crazy, so I'd have to say that's the number one hobby. Yeah. That and going to the beach whenever I can get near one. <laughs> I think the, um, the advice that I would give to people, that anybody who wanted to pursue entertainment is, I mean, there's two things. One is um, persistence. You know, you, you, the, there's so much competition in, in this industry and you get knocked around a lot. And the thing that is going to get you through is simply being persistent and tenacious, just not letting go and believing, believing in yourself that, that you have the abilities and that you have, you know, you have something to say and it's something that needs to be heard and you have to persist. Um, the flip side of that is, and, and I tell people this all the time, I tell myself more than anybody else probably, is that you have to check in with yourself while you're, while you're going crazy trying to make a career for yourself. You have to be sure and check in with yourself at least once, you know, once every couple of months, once a year or something. Have a little downtime and ask, right, am I still happy? Is this what I want to be doing? Am I still fulfilled by what I'm doing? Because you don't want to, you don't want to get to the end and turn around and go back and go, you know what that, I, I, I really, I'm not fulfilled. Um, and I think it's really important to check in and do that. Working with Norman was one of the most unbelievable experiences in my life. Um, well, and, and it wasn't just Norman. Norman has this amazing team. Um, Lara Bergfold, who's his president of production, and Brent Miller, who's the vice president of development. And together, um, they collaborated with me. I mean, to spend hours in Norman's office kicking around my idea and getting his insight, because the man is brilliant, um, was just mind-blowing. Um, but they love the piece and photographs of your junk, and, um, and they spent time with me streamlining it, um, adding elements that I wouldn't have added, actually. Um, but now that the piece is done, I look at it and I go, yeah, I'm glad I did. I'm glad I listened to them. <laughs> I'm glad I said, okay, okay, Mr. Legendary TV producer, I will take your advice. Um, I did, and the piece is better for it. Um, just just amazing. And, and it continues. You know, I, I still have a working relationship with them, and uh, I'm, I feel very, very blessed. So, awesome. You know... Being from the Bahamas, it's a small country, the Bahamas, and the island that I grew up on was like 20 miles long and 7 miles wide, actually 21 miles long, I better get that right. Um, you know, a, at the time I was growing up, a quarter of a million people, not a lot of people. So to be the son of somebody that's that famous was to be known by everybody all the time. And um, yeah, I was growing up sort of uh, the child of a celebrity. Um, and. That was cool. It didn't. I don't. I don't think it really got me anything. I don't think it got me <laughs> any freebies or into any parties or anything, except that um, people were always very complimentary about who my dad was, and um, I guess you know because they liked him, um, they assumed I was cut from the same cloth, and so they they liked me automatically. Um, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad growing up like that. Uh, my dad. Um, you know, 
he's he's been in show business all his life and and his his advice to me about show business wasn't so much about show business was but was about happiness um, he all he ever asked me to do was to be happy he never told me that I had to be in show business like him even though I sang with him on stage at a really early age um, and was always in you know doing stuff in school and plays and whatever um, but he never he never uh, he never forced anything on me. He just said, you know, do what makes you happy. And um, and I'm glad. I'm glad I had the freedom. I'm glad I had the freedom to find that out. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> to all my fans here and throughout the world, I want to say thank you. Thank you so much for for following, for commenting on the, the videos, for sharing them with your friends and your family on Facebook and on Twitter. It means the world to me. I, you know, we do this stuff, we make stuff and put it out there to be seen in the hopes that it has an effect, that it inspires, that it moves people. And, and I've had the, the joy and the privilege of knowing that, that that's happened for, for my fans and the people who love my work. And so I wanna thank you. And please keep it coming. Please keep making the comments. You know, find me on Twitter, find me on Facebook, and let me know what's going on. I appreciate it.